Part of our structure today was to invite external speakers to kind of lead uh, on many of the talks you're going to hear today. That's our commitment to them as our ambition to develop solutions that can be uh, worked through into the real world. So I'm um, delighted to be able to welcome so many external speakers uh, who will be leading or co-sharing -share, uh, presentations with their respective uh, academic lead. So again, I'm going to be sitting down for most of this, you'll be happy to hear, uh, but uh, I welcome first of all to deal in the area of health, demographic change and well-being, uh, Angelique, who joins us from uh, the University of Lausanne, and then if Paul follows directly on that, um, and then uh, Ian from there on afterwards. So, Angelique, you have the floor. I'm Janet Richardson. <laughs> thanks. Um, thanks, Tim. And just to add, that, um, Susan uh, and Paolo's team are excellent, and they've been really helpful uh, with us, so that's, that's great. So I'm Janet, and it gives me great pleasure to be able to present uh, today with Angelique, who's my colleague from, from Switzerland, who arrived in the country on, um, on Sunday. So, um, so a very rapid introduction to Plymouth University. So, uh, we're going to be talking about the um, student nurses' attitudes towards sustainability and sustainability in the nursing curriculum. And um, I'd also like to acknowledge our wider team, which are the nurses, that's our nurses' project team, and um, the other universities and students who took part in this uh, survey. So, what are the drivers? Um, the drivers for us are education in sustainable development is a goal recognised by a large number of countries and it's a vital concept in healthcare because climate change is the biggest threat to public health in the 21st century. Therefore, climate change and sustainability need to be incorporated into nursing and nurse education. And there is limited uh, research on attitudes towards sustainability in nursing and nurse education. So here at Plymouth University, um, with Susan, Susan's help to get some EU funding, we're running, uh, we're leading um, a European project uh, together with the universities of Maastricht, Esslingen and Haiyan. And the aim of this project is to develop evidence-based teaching and learning resources in sustainability for nursing and midwifery and to make these uh, resources available free of charge by the internet across Europe. Uh, it's a three-year project that started in September 2014, and the um, website is nurseus.eu. So this is the context in which the project we're going to talk about this morning it sits. So we're currently working on four activities. Uh, we've done a literature review in two parts. We've mapped nursing curricula in three European countries to see where sustainability uh, could fit. And we're currently running a Delphi study of experts in nurse education to look at uh, what the priority topics for sustainability are in nursing and midwifery. And what we're going to focus on talking about today is the attitudes towards sustainability in the nursing curriculum. So this study, um, as well as including Plymouth, Maastricht and uh, Esslingen and Haiyan, we choose our partners wisely beautiful places to visit, um, who are partners in the uh, Nurses Project. We've included in the survey the University of Worcester and um, uh, Lausanne in um, Switzerland. In Switzerland we've included um, five, five, six, nursing, five schools of nursing um, in, in the survey. And the survey is a, a comparative survey um, which has looked at first year students, first year nursing students and looking at their attitudes towards sustainability and including it in the curricula. It's been previously piloted with um, 363 student nurses in three European countries, so in UK, Germany and Spain. And the current study, which we've just, just in the process of finishing the analysis, includes 916 student nurses um, across four countries. These are the items. Um, the initial pilot suggested that we could reduce, because of the uh, psychometric properties, that we could reduce the seven items on the Likert scale to, to these five items that um, have been included in this particular survey. And I'm going to hand over to Angelique, who's going to present the results. Yeah, thank you. Okay. So moving on to the results. So SANS2 shows good psychometric properties. 
Ponbar Alpha provides evidence of internal consistency with value larger than 0.8, which can be considered, considered as good. Moreover, the overall mean indicating attitudes are near the scale mean. So the two following slides highlight the most interesting findings, namely the comparison of countries. So <clears throat> overall, German nursing students report higher relevance of sustainability <clears throat> in nursing and nurse education than students from all other countries. So as you can read on the graph, oh. okay. Yeah, it's perfect. Oh, thanks. So um, the first item is not significant, but the item two, three, and four, you can read that um, German score are higher than the other groups, and it's it's significant. Maybe it's clear on that table. So um, we perform post hoc test indicating which um, difference between groups are significant, and it confirm that German student score is higher than students from the UK, Switzerland, and Spain. Mm -hmm. However, the last item, number five, sustainability at home, it's a bit different. In fact, Spanish students report applying more sustainability principles at home than students from all other groups. And a little focus on Switzerland, you might be interested in. So results show a medium level of attitudes towards climate change and sustainability in nursing and nurse education. Actually, Swiss students show the second highest overall sense score, just behind German students. In direct comparisons, Swiss nursing students, students show lower sustainability attitudes than German students, but similar to UK and larger than Spain. However, regarding the last item, Swiss students were less likely than Spanish students to report using sustainability principle at home. So to conclude, <clears throat> the study shows differences in student nurses' attitudes towards climate change and sustainability across the four European countries, and we suggest that it could be explained by the different policies across countries. For example, sustainability has been very high on the German <clears throat> political agenda the last few years. And moreover, the SANS2 questionnaire <clears throat> has been translated into a number of languages tested for psychometric properties <clears throat> and can be used to measure changes in attitudes following educational interventions. So, oops, sorry. Yeah, sustainability related <coughs> attitudes in nursing and nurse education are higher in German, whereas sustainability at home is higher in Spain than in all other countries. And finally, we intend to do qualitative analysis based on interview, where we can um, take a look closer, look at individual attitudes to explore these differences. Thank you.